Hello everyone and welcome to Webtoon Rant and today we've got If You Touch My Little Brother, You're All Dead. Now you might be thinking, wow, that title that does not inspire a lot of confidence with me in the story. And I did too, I thought this was going to be a D tier at best, just a time killer, you know, to kind of read when you're in pain and depressed. But no, <laughs> it, it wasn't. I mean, obviously, uh, according to the title, and as you can see in the cover, the little brother kind of has a little tiny, tiny bit of a thing for the sister, and, and they're not, like, their steps at step siblings, but the actual, actual webtoon was hilarious. It was actually pretty much one of the funniest webtoons that I've ever read in my life, and I'm gonna show you a couple, I'm showing you, I'm gonna show you the premise using chapter one, and I'm gonna show you its humor, its very, very interesting style of humor. Uh, using another chapter. Okay, so let's get right into it. So the premise is a kind of typical rewind time uh, Thing where essentially the main character has rewinded too many times they've rewinded like over and over again thousands of different lives thousands I mean hundreds of different lives hundreds of different people and essentially she became you know she died, he died again and again and again, and she died again and again. And you know how she dies? It's not that she dies, it's not her fault. It's because her little brother commits suicide all the time or gets killed. Why? Because apparently he's the protagonist in a gay romance book or romance game. So every time Feng, some freaking piece of crap tries to like rape my little brother, that, that's a guy, and he commits suicide because of shame or something, and he keeps goddamn dying. And 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 finally, after him dying again and again and again, he loses it. She loses her mind. She does not give a crap. And that's kind of how the webtoon starts. So she kind of just it deletes every single person that in her past lives has made her brother go die. And then, and then, and then kind of act on as the title. If you touch my little brother, you're all dead. Because this time, I want to actually live my life instead of getting reset. Because all of you stupid, star-spackled people keep touching my little brother. And that's kind of the premise. And I know, I mean, the premise is like, eh, it's, it's basically a story where the big sister protects the little brother. I get it, I mean... It's nothing special. Yeah, so what makes this special, what makes it good, what makes this webtoon good and, uh, and decently high tier is the humor. And I'm just going to give you guys an example and you guys will understand. There's a banquet occasionally held in order to find a suitable crown princess. If you're invited to this party, not only can you officially rest from your work, the others who can't rest have to do the work that the resting person isn't doing. All of it. So, I have to receive that invitation, got it? Of course. Damn it! Dad! William, get rid of her! Yes! Aster, get me down! Okay. Ha! Ah! To think you'd attack me, you're quite brave, Aster. How shabby, weak. If you're old, you should put down your sword down and rest, father. You're slow. It must be because you've become old. Then you should be a good daughter. Next slice. I can feel it. Killing intent. Damn it. Is this the end? I didn't want to go this far. This is all for you, Rosalite. I'll bring you a new... A stepmother who's good at work, so I'll leave the rest to you. Gaining momentum to do a laser kick! Ugh! This isn't blood. This is a representation of Duke Edward's fury. I don't need one. This isn't blood. This is a representation of Duke Edward's resentment. I hope you finish writing an apology letter to send to mother. I have a letter. Give it to me. Ah, uh, yes. Huh? Why is she bleeding? Work hard. My lady, I'm done on this end too. Unfilia Della, daughter. You're the best. Rosalita Astor, victory. Yep, and this is how pretty much the entire webtoon is. 
It's freaking hilarious. And honestly, like, I, I don't know, maybe other people don't enjoy this type of humor, and this might be completely personal preference, but I freaking love this kind of just no shit humor, and I find it hilarious, and I just thought it was really, really funny. And even though it might have a typical premise, it, it has a main character that just doesn't give a shit, which I find compelling. And, and the storyline is all kind of all over the place and very random, and it almost feels like an omniverse, even though it isn't. And there's no big overarching plot or anything. It's just a funny story about a girl who gets reset if, his, if her brother dies and has turned into a what is bordering a psychopath. And I personally thought that that was hilarious and really fun. So if you're looking for something to make you laugh, something that you want to read and have fun with, then yeah, this one, this one will be fun. So I gave it a B tier because its premise is D tier or C tier at best, but its humor and the execution of it is really, really quite good in my opinion. So that kind of boosts it up and it levels down at B. I, I, I would say maybe it's a low B, like it, it's kind of bordering C, but it's, it's a B nothing less and I personally think it's awesome. And if there's a big twist and all of this was a setup plan for a large plot, which I doubt it is, but if it is, then would it will probably boost it up to like, you know, like an A tier. Not, <laughs> although I, I'm sure that would never happen. Anyways, highly recommend this, recommend this webtoon. I see that a lot of people disagree with me on this one, on the humor and everything, but I think it's awesome, so it's a B tier. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye. It was Webtoon Rant.